Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the digital adaptation of the tabletop game Istanbul. You can find this on Steam for about 10 bucks, should you want to pick it up for yourself. To be honest with you folks, I've never played the tabletop game, I don't actually own it. And I played one practice game against the AI just now, on easy, and I, I want to say I got my butt handed to me, it wasn't a slaughter. I did collect half of the victory points that I needed to win, but uh, the computer was miles ahead of me. Based on my experience with it, though, this game is all about efficiency. Let me explain. So you've got a main character token, and you've got a bunch of assistant tokens. As you move your main character token around, you have to bring your assistants with you. If you want to take an action at that space, then you have to leave one assistant token behind. If you don't, then you can't take an action there, unless there's some sort of special thing. So, as you're playing, you're leaving more and more assistant tokens on varying spaces, and eventually you're going to run out. So, you can do one of two things. You can revisit spaces you've already been to in order to pick up previous assistant tokens and take another action there, or you can go back to a fountain space and collect all of your tokens. That obviously wastes an entire turn, but it'll collect all of your assistants and it'll bring them right underneath your main character token again. So again, it's all about efficiency. You gotta plan out your routes, figure out where you're gonna go with your main character and how many assistant tokens you have left and if you can make it to the space and blah, 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 blah. Your main goal here is to collect five rubies, six in a two-player game. All right, now obviously there's more rules than that, but we'll get there when we get there. So you do have the ability to play local multiplayer, like you can choose between uh, computer or human. As far as the difficulties go, there's easy, medium, and hard. We'll stick to easy for right now. The game does support up to a total of five players, as you can see. All right. So whenever you're choosing your board, it's a four by four grid, and each space does something different. You can choose different board layouts. There's short paths, which is good for beginners. There's long paths, which make it a little bit more complicated in the sense that like buildings that would sort of jive together aren't next to each other. So you have to spend more time moving around the board. You can only move one or two spaces orthogonally on your turn. So if I were on, say, this bottom right space, I could only move like one, two, maybe up to this space here or one, two or one, two. So there, or I can just do one if I wanted to. So I am limited in how many spaces I can move per turn. So long paths make it a little bit more complicated, make you, make you think a bit more about what you're doing in order. Uh, and well, if you want to take a look at what all of these do in order, this layout is more challenging. Similar places are grouped together and random. Random might be better for you experienced folks out there that want, well, a random experience. But we're going to stick to short paths. This will be a very quick game. The computer is more than likely going to kick the tar out of me. I have yet to come up with a good strategy for this. But I'll explain what I'm doing as we go. Okay. So, this game looks a bit complicated. And I was a little overwhelmed at first. The main thing that you have to get used to in this game are the different action spaces and what they do, okay? So on the left-hand side of the screen, there's the different player boards. At the start of the game, we have the ability to hold two of each resource. There's jewelry in blue. I'm guessing this is cloth in red, uh, possibly food in green and pineapple in yellow. I don't know if that's the name of these resources. I'm just guessing. But... Um, yeah, you, you're able to collect up to two of each resource. There is a space on the board called the wheelbarrow, which is on the very bottom here. Uh, it's actually to the south of my blue player character here. On the very bottom, there's a little wheelbar wheelbarrow, and we spend seven coin there, or lira, to upgrade our wheelbarrow and we'll be able to hold three of each resource. If we manage to completely upgrade our wheelbarrow to hold five of each resource, 
we get to collect a gem. That's, again, gems or rubies are, are one of the ways that we win in this game. Other ways to collect rubies. Um, if you look on each space that has a ruby on it in the bottom left-hand corner, um, that's where you can get rubies from. So on the very bottom right-hand corner, there's a space that says 15 lira. And if you pay that, you then uh, get, a, you get a ruby. Upper right-hand corner, uh, if you happen to collect two of, these are mosque tiles in the upper right-hand corner, um, you pay the cost on the top of the card, which is usually resources, and you get a special ability. There's a special ability for each color. So there's a special ability for blue. If you look on the left-hand side where my cursor is, there's four of them. There's the blue mosque, the red, the green, and the yellow, and each one has a different ability. Red lets you manipulate dice when you're using them on uncertain spaces. Um, green, uh, what does this do? I think we can pay two coin to buy a resource when we're on a certain space. So, like, it, when we're collecting resources, we can pay an additional two coin to collect one of a different resource of our choice. So, we can collect resources more quickly that way with that special ability. Um, blue, I believe, gives us an extra worker. And the yellow one... I'm not exactly sure what that does. Okay, you can stop stop singing, thank you. Uh, I think this means that you can pay to- oh, right! That, that is one thing that's annoying in this game, the constant singing. I think you can pay two coin to move an assistant back to your character stack, I think. I think. I don't have them memorized, this is my second time playing. So, other spaces, um, like this one on the right with the green f max on it, that simply means collect those resources uh, up to your max storage. Same thing with the red on the very top where my opponent went to. Same on the far left where the pineapple is. And same where... Actually, there is no jewelry space for that, but there are spaces where you can get jewelry. Jewelry is a little bit harder to come by in this game than the other three resources. Jewelry being what you see in blue. Now, there are some spaces where you can turn in resources for lira or coin. Um, bottom left-hand corner, you can turn in uh, each one of each resource and then one of your choosing to collect a ruby. And a lot of these spaces, uh, as you're collecting rubies from them, the cost goes up. So uh, it, it becomes more and more expensive to use that space again when someone else has used it. The fountain space is where we start. So if we ever run out of assistance and we are in a bad position, we can come back here and collect everybody. There are family members in this game. They start off in this jail. If we land on the jail, we can send our blue family member to any spot that we want on the board. And he ignores uh, paying the costs of certain penalties, which I'll explain in a minute, but you can put them anywhere. The downside to this token is if my opponent lands on him, he can send him back to jail and get either a free bonus card, which is like a, just a card that you can play for a benefit, or you can gain some money. So yeah, you can use him. He's, he's there for you, but if he gets caught, then it gives your opponent an advantage. As far as paying costs on certain spaces, if you land on a space that belongs to your opponent's character or onto one of these neutral white tokens here, these merchants. And I believe these are only in a two-player game. I could be wrong. But if you land on them, then you have to pay uh, that character to coin to be there. So I, I try not to land on spaces that belong to my, or where my opponents are. At least that's my strategy. All right. Well, what I'd like to do, um, we need to get some money. So I'm trying to think of the best way to go about doing that. Um, one thing I may want to consider doing is I, I wanted to go north here and collect this so I can go to the right and buy this upgrade. Um, but maybe we'll go to the right here and collect this. Leave assistant. Take this. And we can still go north. Oh, he's going to the left. Uh, not post office space. If you land there, you get the resources depicted and the money depicted. Nice little space. And that will change depending on what's highlighted. So right now, the next one that will be collected is, I guess, this cloth and pineapple and two coin. The next one after that, 
pineapple cloth and three coin and then finally jewelry so you get the idea all right so it's out of range um we'll go up here maybe well we can we can collect these upgrades um I'm trying to think of what I want to do there is a uh I think this is like a gambling thing below me where I can roll I can pick a number roll the dice and as long as I'm higher than that dice th or as long as the dice is higher than the number I picked then I get Lyra, but I've never used that tile. I don't like gambling. Um, <sighs> I want to. I want to see if I can upgrade my wheelbarrow as quickly as possible. My com my opponent in the previous playthrough did that. Like he upgraded the wheelbarrow faster than I did and ended up winning. So I'm thinking I need to focus on a way to get more coin. So um. If I land here, I can get five coin if I turn these two green things in. So I think we'll do that. We don't have to turn all of them in, but if we turn all of them in, we get a lot more money. But for right now, this will work. Alright, so he, he took his family member out of jail, went down here. And he already has... Wow, that was quick. He already has a, a ruby. He turned in the required resources in order to... Um, in order to get a ruby. He, he This this bottom left-hand corner is you turn in the required resources plus one of your choosing and you get a ruby. So he's already won. He's, he's already got one on me. Let's come down here and buy this upgrade. So now we can hold three of each resource. We don't have any resources, but now we can hold three of each type. Okay. Um, so... Huh. card do I have? Oh, nice. So I can return an assistant with a card. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to do that yet. What I really want to do is start collecting more resources again, but we're almost out of assistance, so we'll just come back here and bring all of my assistants back. All right, so I think we'll head here, collect. Now we get three resources instead of two because our wheelbarrow is expanded. All right, my turn. Well, um, now this, this neutral merchant is here. If I land here, I'd have to pay. Or I could, well, if I land here on the jail, I'd have to pay my opponent, but I could use my my family member to land here and bypass the cost of having to pay that. Again, the family members bypass the need to pay for sharing a space. Um, I guess we'll move down here. This space means pick up two cards, discard one. Um, I could move two over here. Use my family member to buy one of these upgrades. I could do that. Yeah, all right. Back. So let's do that. And we'll send our family member here, bypassing the need to pay the cost. And let's buy this dice rolling one. And that's our that's our upgrade for red. All right, confirm. All right, he spent a card, get some five coins. He bought an upgrade for his wheelbarrow. Um, 
pineapple. We still need, um, oh, or we can come up here and get some money. Now here's the thing, I've only got one assistant left. But I would be within range to collect everyone. Yeah, all right, we'll just do, we'll come up here. Collect one of each resource, red, yellow, and then collect two coin. On our next turn, we're going to have to come back to the fountain, collect everyone again. Unless I decide to move elsewhere. Like, I can I can move back here, that'll work. Um, yeah, obviously I'm not very efficient with my tokens yet. Just bring them all back. Oof. Okay, um, I could come down here, buy... I can trade in resources here. Or I can come up here and buy this green one, and that will give me a red gem. If you buy both upgrades of that color on this space... Well, here's the thing, though. This guy's here, so I'd have to pay for that. All right, never mind. All right, we'll come down here. Oof. Only... We'd only get nine for that. All right, we'll do it. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade our wheelbarrow again. The way I see it, if I can upgrade quickly, it's less times I have to land on these resource spaces. Oh, it looks like he's actually paying for that upgrade. And whenever you do that, when you, you pay off a neutral player, it moves somewhere else. Alright, so I'm back down here. Um, I could move two spaces to the left and send him back to jail, but I wouldn't be able to turn anything in here, so that would be kind of wasteful. Um... I could, I could pop back up here, turn in more goods, and collect five, and then upgrade my wheelbarrow again on the next turn. Just come right back down here. Take assistant. All right, so we've upgraded everything, and uh, now we've got five of each resource, and because we fully upgraded this, we've collected a gem. Got an achievement for that too, apparently. Okay, um, well now we need some resources, and the question is, how are we going to do it? Well, I have that dice upgrade, uh, this this red upgrade, so I'm wondering if I can stop here and do a little bit of gambling. Um, if I move to the left, still not gonna... I can, I can gain three coin by doing that, but I still won't be able to take an action on that space. Um, I guess we'll have to do that. Okay, so if I guess six to twelve... Well, let's go with that. I mean, I, I have the ability to re-roll with this special ability, so... Um... How bad do I want to do this? The most common number is seven. So maybe we'll do six? Um, we rolled a two and a three. I can re-roll or turn one of them in... Okay, so we're gonna have to re-roll. There we go. Seven. All right, so we earned um, we earned our six coin that we needed, barely. And again, we wouldn't have been able to do that without the special ability that we got in the upper right hand corner here. Oh, he's he's in the money at this point. All right, now we just need to start collecting resources. So I think uh, moving here. There we go. And then this is going to be our next stop. OK. 
Okay. And then maybe this post office. Oh, so he's fully upgraded his. So it, now it's just a race. Um, I think... Uh, see, we've already got this resource full up, but a jewelry and three coin is kind of nice. So I'll take that. And that, done. Yikes. He's getting plenty of money now. Now, I can come down here, send my family members somewhere. I can send them to the left here. And that would give me max pineapple. I can send them up here to start buying these resources, or buying these upgrades, but... Alright, let's do this. Oh, I can't. I have to leave an assistant. Meaning I have to move here first. Alright, bring all. See, the computer's not doing that, so this is where I'm losing, I think. I'm not playing as efficiently as I could. Alright. Um... What I need to do is start getting some jewelry. I could land there, land on pineapples. Alright, we'll do... Fine, we'll... Or... Back. Let's do this. We land here. Send family member up here to bypass the need to pay him. We'll take all of that. And... I still have... Okay. I still have that bonus card that I'm not using. Um, I guess we'll come over here and collect all of these. Okay. Let's see. Um, well, we can either go north and buy this upgrade, but we... Well, we can buy both upgrades. Uh, I think we only can buy one upgrade per action, though. Um. Hmm. I could also come down to the bottom here and trade in resources to get another... I could also collect three coin from him. So we're turning in resources. We'll turn in an extra... Sure, one of these. Bye. And now that we can either take three coin or we can send... Or we can take a, a card. Um, are we going to be using money for anything at this point? We can use money to buy gems. Or rubies, rather. So I think we'll take that. All right, from here, I can move up one space. Um, hmm. I can move up one space to collect one of these. Let's do that. If we roll the dice and we roll like an 11 or 12, we'll get three of these. And that's, this is where my dice power, that red ability comes into play. Uh, we'll go ahead and choose a resource we don't have. We'll go ahead and choose pineapple. Well, we've got three of them, and now we have four. Let's go ahead and roll six. So we would get zero. I can turn the two into a four, and we'll get one. Or we can just re-roll the die dice and go with that. I think we'll re-roll. And we got another six. You've got to be kidding me. All right, well, that was, that was terrible luck on my part. Start encounter. Um, I will... I will take one of these. And I will give up a pineapple. I was hoping to get two there, but turns out no. Okay, so... 
What do we do? Hmm. We can go up one space, get pineapples, and then come back down and try that again. But that just seems like that's going to be three turns, and I don't, I don't want to waste that much. I've got all these resources, so I'm trying to figure out a way to make the most of it. And I don't have... I'm, I'm, I'm going to maybe play a bonus card. Maybe land here, turn this in for some money. Um, do that. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Over the long haul, I'm going to need jewelry. So I think going up a space, collecting that, coming back down, redoing this space, and hopefully getting a jewelry, and then coming down to the bottom here, collecting this, and then getting another... All right, let's do that. Take assistant. We'll collect two pineapple. All right, he maxed out on that. All right, we'll come down here. Take that assistant. We'll collect, uh, sure, that cloth, and we'll roll. Ooh, six. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the one into a four. Okay, now we've got two more jewelry from that. Uh, the one into a four makes nine. So now we've got three jewelry. Confirm. So now we can come down here, get another one. Oh, and now he's bought another upgrade up here and earned another. So he's got four to my two. So more than likely he's going to win this. All right, so we'll pay the pineapple. Confirm. My turn... Well, we can go back up and, um, what does this purple thing do? You know, I, I, I kind of want more jewelry again. Um, what do we need here? Okay, so two of that, two of that, two of that. We could just keep doing this back and forth. Um, let's just keep, we've got a lot of resources. All right, we'll take a, um, we'll take a pineapple. Eight. Uh, that's only one jewelry. I could choose to re-roll, but uh, that's a risk. All right, I'll take the one jewelry. I'm not going to press my luck on that. Encounter. Um, I think this means I can take a card, but I'd have to also discard one, which... Or I can pay two coin to keep it. I'm not sure what this does, but... Three to four. Um... What does this do? In the first phase of your turn, move your merchant stack by three or four places. Oh, so it's basically extra movement. I see. Um... I don't know. <laughs> um... Uh, both sound good. All right, we'll, we'll 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 pay the two coin to keep it. The next gem is or ruby is sixteen on the bottom right there. All right, he's getting more money. Um, if we go to north, um, we could turn in the two jewelry and collect this upgrade and also send him back to jail. But then we'd have to pay this guy. Well, I guess the question is, how, how do we plan to get rubies? Um, if I go back down again, I could trade in the resources that I have and get another gem, stay competitive. Maybe go to the east and get pay, turn in my money to get that. But I'd still need one more gem, and I'm not exactly sure 
how I want to do that. All right, uh, that. In order to get this gem up here, I'd need to buy, spend two jewelry and four pineapple for that. All right, we'll we'll come back down. Turn these in. Turn in the pineapple. All right. So now we're tied, but it's he's still ahead of me here. Yep. He spent money to get that fifth gem, and now it's just a matter of time. I could I could try and come back here, and try and get that jewelry, and then come up here and buy that. And then come down, get the pineapple, come back up and buy that. And then somehow get to the bottom right and buy that. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, do all that before the end of the game, though. It's, it's, it's my only choice. Alright, let's take a... We're going to pick up pineapples anyway, so we'll collect that. Give me something good. Um, I could... Oh, okay. I can turn this two into a four and get nine. And therefore, I got two jewelry. All right. Good. Mm. It's not going to take him much. All right. So, if I move two to the north... Yeah. We'll have to pay the neutral merchant. But we're going to buy this one. And we'll, we need the money because we just lost money paying that merchant. So we're going to take the money so we have enough to buy this gem down here when the time comes, assuming it comes. And of course, he wins the game, I think. Oh, no, I get one more turn. He, he just used his... Uh, family member to come down here, trade in resources, and that was that. So, uh, it's the end of the game. Um, I, I get one more move, though, because, uh, he went first. So, there's no way for me to get two gems at this point, so I'm just going to concede. Uh, I'll just move here. And, uh, you know what, just, no, just get... <laughs> I don't think it's not necessary at this point. All right, so uh, I did better than the last game. I only had, I think, two rubies, and this time I scored four. This easy AI is not easy, I'll tell you that. Uh, and it, it's very possible, again, that I'm not playing as efficiently as one could. But uh, as my second game, I don't think I did too bad. Uh, if you guys want to see more of Istanbul, the digital edition, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.